Refactoring is an art. This way, you can change the code if you don't change the behavior of your system. In today's video, I will explain how to extract an interface from a class. Hello you! My name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. The channel for you who is a senior engineer and want to achieve better results in your code design as uh, software engineer in Arctet. So if you want to know more about tips around Java, NoSQL, database, and cloud, subscribe in this channel. In my previous video, I talked a lot about interface and why in some case you don't need it. Of course, interface are super important for us as software engineer, as software developer, and for us who defi define a code design structure. But it doesn't mean that we need to use all the time. Sometimes what you need to do is the simplicity. Therefore, use the class and when you need it, you can refactoring, extracting the interface. We are software engineer. We are hard to see the future. So instead of trying to see the future, let's create a code more adaptable as possible. Uh, let's use the art of a factoring instead of create several interfaces that might imply in complexity. Okay? I will create a super simple scenario where I have a class, I create a test, and I will refactor the class extracting the interface. I'm going to use the ID here to make it easier, especially because I want to make it short. But remember, you can do it manually or using another ID that I'm not using here. For example, Eclipse ID has something pretty similar and I guess Apache NetBean provides something pretty similar as well. So in our scenario, what I'm going to do is I will create a payment service that initially gonna have a single way to do payment. On this, on this case, do I need interface? Or my opinion, no. Okay, Otavi, but you, you might need it in the future. Okay, let the future come and then refactor your code for that situation. Of course, I'm saying that because usually we do also need to handle trade-offs, okay? So my point here is to explain to you that it is okay that you create a class and then extract your interface. But there's no silver bullet. In some case, you need to create abstractions and so on. So I will create my payment service here where I do have my pay, okay? Where I gonna have a user and also, of course, the money the amount. So as you can see here, it's a, uh, I will create just an empty classes, just make it easier. So I will create an empty money as well. And then I will come here and just print the result. So the payment logic, I will return a string here, return the payment successful. So in this case, the credit card payment, the credit card payment successful. So I will come here, I will create a test. Of course, in the business on production, I need to cover several possibilities like negative credit, or run credit card and so on. But remember, my main goal here is to explain you in a simple way how to perfect on the code on the interface. So thank you, the assistant. I do have my payment service here. Uh, I'm not injecting, but of course you can use uh, Spring or CDI, MicroProfile, Jakarta here, EE or any the base injection engine to make it possible. So I will run the test. And it's done. Right now, 
are we gonna do? For some reason, after one year, the business realized, okay, it's time to have more flavors of payments. So what can I do here? I can instruct the interface. Of course, you can do it manually, so you can create a class and move this logic for here, or you can use any more than classes or any more than IDE to make it even easier for you. So I will extract the interface. I will rename the original class and use the interface where it's possible. So I will keep my payment service here as an interface. This way, my client has no idea about this change. So I'm going to change the implementation. Uh, I will rename. So right now it's a credit card payment, car payment service, do the refactoring. And right now, as you can see, I do have my payment and my credit card implemented. So I come here and I capable to use the same code. So I'm injecting as you can see here. So I do have my payments, my payment service. I'm injecting the credit card. And of course, imagine that I do have more flavors. So I came here. I can have my debit card and so on. But as you can see, it's super silly, uh, super simple to just change the code to extract the interface. Um, if you do manually, uh, it might take some, some time, but it can get even easier when you do that with an ID like IntelliJ, um, Apache, NetBeans, or Eclipse ID. That's all for today. Thank you, hopefully you enjoy, and you. So what do you prefer, affecting the code or try to see the future? Anyway, of course, there are several cases where you need to create the face, but not the whole case. That's my video for today. See you over there.